KAC, the vector force KAC, then you have the vector force KAD, then you have the, um, this one here should be B. You're going to have PAB plus the weight that adds up to the resultant force and the resultant is zero because point A is in equilibrium. So this is your what we call as the condition of equilibrium for this given problem. And we need the forces in vector form. We know the one is right here, but we have to go through the exact same process we went through before. That means we need TAC, we need TAD, and we're going to need TAB. And these forces are similar to case 3. That means you have a magnitude which is unknown, or we're looking at, let's say, TAB, TAC, and TAD. All these are unknown magnitudes. Then you have a vector which you can find. Or you have TAC. I could write a vector going from A to C. Or this becomes TAC, AC over AC. Same thing going to happen here. You have TAD, the unknown magnitude, and a unit vector going from A to D. Or TAD, AD over AD. Then we have TAB times uh, unit vector going from A to B. And I could write that as AB over AB. I mean, so far it's very similar to the one problem I just did. But then we need the coordinates. So we need the coordinates of A, B, C, and D. Now, what do you think are the coordinates of point A? A is in um, the YOZ plane, right? So if it's on YOZ plane, what do you think are the coordinates for that point? 0, 3, and 2.5. Yes, right. So you go 0, 3, and 2.5. So that's for A. <coughs> then we need the B. In this case, B happen to be origin, so that all goes to triple zeros. Then we need C. So what do you think about C? That gives you the um, the coordinates. So we go T A C, <coughs> and we're looking at <coughs> A C. So we need this first. Then you're gonna subtract this from A. So you have 0.75. 
0.75, negative 2, and 0. That's coming out of the hip, which is C. Then you have A, which is 0. Then you have negative 3. And then you have negative 2.5. So that times i, j, and k, then you add this, then you go square root of 0.75 square, square root of negative 5 square, and negative 2.5 square. So that's one equation, then we have TAD. So TAD means we're looking at this force, that means negative 1.25, negative 2, and a 0. And you're going to subtract A from this, that gives you a 0, negative 3, negative 2.5. So that's I plus J plus K. Then we got the square root on this, and that's 1.25 with the negative square, negative 5 square, negative 2.5 square. Then you have the 